All right, everyone, welcome to Bid Nerds, your daily nerd out on the most interesting car of the day from all the automotive enthusiast auction sites. My name is John Polnick. I'm coming to you from the Container Park in downtown Las Vegas, along with my partner in studio in San Francisco. Uh, he is in his cold, cold, cold studio. Uh, he's got the puffy jacket on, so you know yeah. it must be chilly. Uh, how you doing, yeah. Michael Deeb? Uh, the nuclear hellfire has not warmed up San Francisco. No, not yet. But, um, what a great weekend. Our buddy Matt Weissel got married in Las Vegas, and uh, I got to hang out with you and Rochelle, our producer, and... Uh, and Rami Mirza made a cameo as Rami Mirza, uh, or the new and improved Rami Mirza. So uh, congratulations to Matt and Shannon. That was a very special event. It was really fun to see you and hang out and have a couple of cocktails. How is Rami Mirza new and improved? Uh, do you notice how skinny he is? He's like 20% smaller. And, he is um, pretty darn thin. He's, uh, if he's, I he's say, wasting I know away, if I do say so. No, I think he looks great. We need great. to get him um, some food. I, I, not to give away too much, but it, as a one intimate detail, he really hasn't had any drinks this summer. Like he kind of quit drinking. He looks fantastic, and I told him such. And uh, and he mentioned that he had to buy some new clothes because he had slimmed down, you know, so many pounds that because some of his clothes of didn't not right. drinking. I'm not sure who told you that, but okay, that's a that's a fun one. Yeah. <laughs> Rami, come on the show and defend yourself. Talk about it. He, uh, he looks good. So anyway, he does look good. He Rami. does look good. But I'm happier for Matt and Shannon. What a wonderful event. That was super fun. Congratulations to the newlyweds who have been dating for 15 years. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> they are, and they are still in Las Vegas at the time of this recording. Um, oh yeah. Where I think we're gonna have dinner with them before they uh, take off. So. Oh, uh, fun, fun. They're having their little short little honeymoon. Um, yeah. But all right, well, you guys, uh, look, you guys came in. You're wondering what this show is. If you're new to the show, what we do is we find the most interesting car of the day from all the auction sites, like P Car Market, Bring a Trailer, Cars and Bids, uh, and more. Excuse me. Uh, once we uh, determine what that most interesting car is, we uh, we have a little conversation about it, talk about why it's the most interesting car, uh, and then we get to the interesting part, which is making a prediction as to what we think will happen with that car's auction. Uh, and then uh, we want you to play along, bid along with us. That's why we are the bid nerds. We make a bid, and then we get into our DeLorean and go into the future in this episode. At the end of this episode, you will see exactly how much that car is sold for. Um, so if you think you know cars better than us, let's see. Uh, now is the time. Hit the Prove subscribe, it. like, and notification button. Uh, we will tell you what the car is. And before the break, we want to see what your bid is. Uh, and we'll see if you're right. Okay, here we go. Michael Deeb, today's car is kind of a big deal. Is it a big deal? I don't know. These are no. these are awesome. These are awesome. Yeah, they are awesome. Uh, what we're talking about is on Bring a Trailer, JP, a 1987 Porsche 911 Carrera Targa the G50 gearbox off to us out of Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, the car has about 93,000 miles on a 3.2 liter uh, flat six. Uh, G50 gearbox in this era, 87, 88, 89, were equipped with this uh, transmission, which is just, I mean, look, a 950 is a great gearbox. These are just, they're bread, they're just butter. They're so easy to use, make this car really fun to drive. Um, why I selected this car is it's a sub-100,000 mile G50 Targa in a slightly unusual colorway in that it's granite green. Now, I know you have vehemently stated on the show and in person several times that you don't give a about gray-colored cars, but last year when we were doing the show, we covered a G50-equipped turbo-look Carrera it was granite green, the green interior. Do you remember that car, JP? It brought like yeah, $125,000, yeah, and uh, everybody was losing their mind that a, that a regular Carrera, even a Turbo Look, brought six figures uh, as the market was swelling up and starting to erupt like a, vo a volcano. Since we looked at that car, I've been a huge fan of that granite green color. So seeing this Targa in a, what I believe is an out of range color, or maybe it was a regular color, but just not one that very many people selected. I thought it'd be really cool to take a look at this one with the linen interior. It's all original. It's not um, a modified car in any way. It has American suspension, uh, but it's just a no nonsense, nice example of a D50 Targa. 
you know, what will it bring? What will it bring in in this you know, sort of struggling economy? What will it bring on bring a trailer? Uh, I thought this would be an interesting look to take a look at a no nonsense Targa. The other thing that I would add, JP, as I turn it over to you, is we've really seen a rise in the values of mid year cars. SCs went up a, a good portion, but it seems like mid years have almost doubled value in the last couple of years. So, my question is, you and I come to a conclusion on the bid, our, our bid on this car. At, before we go and, and wait for the result and cap this episode, do you think, this other question I'm going to leave you with, JP, is do you think a major target would, in the same way or you know similar condition, would also bring similar money to what this G50 would bring? We it used to be the G50 cars brought a massive premium, and I would suggest that if you know, if your bid is in the sixty or seventy thousand dollar range, that if this car were original paint and original miles on a mid year, that it might also be similar money, no matter what your bid come in. And so, I want to pose that to you to address before you finish. Do you think a mid year would bring as much as as a G? Uh, I mean, look, I remember. Do you remember back in the day? You know, uh, when air cooled cars were still contemporary. I mean, let's uh yeah. like back in yeah. the 90s, college. Right? Yeah, college. Uh, college, time, yeah. yeah, like uh like yeah. I went to college. Um yeah, the you know, it, it, <laughs> they used to say get the newest car you can. Um, yes. That was the that was the prov- like every magazine, every Porsche magazine always said get the newest one you can. And it that always seemed like oh, okay, so like get a lesser con- like higher miles, lesser condition g50 car versus like you said a mid-year or something like that that kind of made sense because uh the components really were that much better uh in the newer cars um Uh but nowadays that just doesn't make sense now the g50 is the better transmission it is a better driving experience than pretty much any other of the all the other previous 911s um but that even that is arguable. I mean, you could say it objectively, but I think you know some people really like driving the 915s. I like driving the 915s. Would I prefer to have a G50? Uh, how about both? I don't know. I think the the mid year cars came up because all of the SCs and the Carreras and the G50s uh, were getting so expensive that people started really you know going okay, well, what else can we afford? And so that kind of brought the tide up. I don't know if people really. I mean, there's a handful of people out there that certainly uh, prefer the mid-year, but I, I think they're still somewhat in the minority, or at least it's pretty flat. I think it comes down to not getting the newest car with the most power and the best transmission. I think it comes down to really which one's in the be- better condition. Is sure, Could sure. a 75 911S Targa um, be worth as much as an 87 G50 Targa? Absolutely, if the condition of the mid-year is superior to the uh, to the G50 car, I think it just comes yeah. down to con- uh, condition and uh, you know paint colors and all that kind of stuff. Uh, this yeah. one in a in a somewhat rare color, I agree. I actually really like this color. I it's Good. it's not Good. that I, I don't do like gray colors. I just don't think they're usually that exciting. I actually really like this gray. Co- if of all yeah. the grays that I can think of, other than maybe a modern chalk, uh, I think this yeah. is a really cool gray. Will this car? bring a lot of extra money for that color i don't think so uh it only would if it was matched with the green interior like the other one you were talking about that's what really that kind of split pea green interior with the gray you know slate gray exterior was so dope but the linen is a little bit like ho-hum at least has a black dash uh this is a classic combination i think this is a spectacular all around 911 uh that if you're going "Hmm, values on these are probably going to start going down uh or you know like the value of all asset classes uh this is certainly one that uh will probably fare better than most uh this really is a beautiful example of one uh with a cursor look at it how many what were the miles on this car 93,000 and it appears to be original mileage yeah and that's great if this car has been maintained uh, then it really has lots and lots and lots of life left in it and uh, would just be a joy to own and uh, yeah. honestly you know we talk about asset classes we talk about the you know as we're recording this the stock market is cratering uh, I just looked at it before we opened the show and it was down like literally four percent I mean we are talking and, and by the time this episode comes out, it'll probably be a solid week after that. So, uh, you know, who knows what will happen the rest of this week. Um, but look, you know, would you rather it, 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 <clears throat> would you rather have 
fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars wrapped up in a brand new or contemporary Lexus or even a you know a uh-huh. Porsche for that matter, or would you rather have that same money wrapped up in something like this over the course oh. of the next two rocky years? I mean, I think yes. the answer is pretty obvious. Uh, this is the yeah. thing that, that you'd rather have. Uh, anything yeah. normal is going to just plummet in value. Uh, so with that said, what do you think this car is going to bid up to? So here we go, JP. So uh, this car closes uh, a few days from when we do the show, five days out, basically. Uh, so at the moment, it's still early in the week for this car. It's only at $25,000 on five bids. That being said, I think with the colorway, I think with the gearbox, uh, I think with the condition and miles, as you had just affirmed, and I agree with you, um, I think this is around a $70,000 car. So I'm going to say $69,000 and it sells at that price. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if it brought more money than that, but I would be shocked if it brought less money than that. And that's only <clears throat> interesting because I think, like you said, the the economy is not supporting confidence for buyers to be going into these sorts of things. But I do think this car checks quite a few boxes for the guy who might be looking for a cool classic 911. The other thing I would assert, JP, is that if this was a mid-year S or standard 911 Targa in an interesting color that's original with a sub-verified 100,000 miles, I think that this would be a similar price car, like 60 to 65,000 bucks. But if it was a mid-year Carrera Targa with the wide hips and the staggered wheel width, I actually think this car would bring more money. I think it would be like an eighty-five thousand dollar car. Wait, a mid-year, um, a mid-year Carrera, Targa, yeah. As opposed to a, just a regular mid-year Nero. Nero, that's yeah. a so much I think rarer bird, and I, that's right, not that's at what, all what we were talking about earlier. No, we were no, talking no, about just regular mid-year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so I just think that it, it's interesting because. When I met you, a, a G50 was always worth more than a mid-year, even if it yeah. was a Carrera. But now, in today's market, that mid-year Carrera Targa, I think it's closer to a $100,000 car, especially if it's apples to apples, original pay under 100,000 miles. So just I just thought that was an interesting take because these used to be the king of the hill, and they're not. And, and yet, this is still a really great car. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be <clears throat> this is going to really be a canary in the coal mine here. Um, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, I mean that seriously. We're recording this at the beginning yeah. of the week, and we have five days ago. This is going to be this auction is going to close at the end of this week. So, right. will the stock market? Um, you know, rally for the rest of the week. Are people going to say, hey, look, there's some opportunities here uh, as we see the hockey puck kind of bouncing. It's at the bottom. Is it going to bounce back up and just keep, are we going to see the hockey puck just kind of bounce across the floor <clears throat> for a while or are we seeing things go south? Uh, and is that going to happen right now or is it going to happen a month from now or a few months from now? We um, Summer is effectively over. Um, yeah. People are paying more attention to more somber things. We have a big, huge midterm uh, coming up, and that is about to – that dial is already at 11. Um, so how is that <laughs> going to affect things? Um, you know, do car enthusiasts just have an optimism bias? Are, are car enthusiasts just the happier people in the world? Is it pay to be a car enthusiast because we just don't care about what the hell everyone's arguing about? So we because we have a Target 911 that we can just get into and drive around and forget about everything else. I mean, that's yeah. kind of where I want to be. I, I don't want to watch the internet, the TV, yeah. any black screen. I mean, the only thing you really want to watch right now is bid nerds. And even we're kind of talking about all the, the, the crap that's going yeah. on. Um, you know, the thing to do is to get in your uh, classic 911 like this and just drive it until they make it illegal uh, and uh, this this really would be a great one to have for a long time um, your bid was what 69 69,000 JP what do you say uh, I'm gonna say it's gonna be mid 50s I'm gonna go 55 oh, I wow. think you really I bash. think okay. I think uh, I think if there is any chance if you have a car that you're sitting on and you don't and you think Mm, should I get rid of it uh, or should I cash out now? Too late. Um, you're either on the downward trend of that, and but you're still kind of like high up on the downward trend, uh, or you just bear it out, run with it. Um, so, uh, and that might be, like I said, that might be a month away, that might be a couple of weeks away, it might be that it may have been last week. Uh, so this will, this is the kind of pretty much blue chip car. 
um, that will be a really good indication. If, if by Friday this thing is still bringing 69 grand, uh, then you got to be scratching your head going, all right, gold is down, stock market's down, crypto's down, everything's down, houses aren't yeah. selling, but you're still getting $70,000 for a for a target 911. I mean, so yeah, wackiness uh, to be paid attention to. Uh, what do you guys think of that take? Uh, am I just a, um, what is it, Pollyanna, the sky is falling? Uh, or is everything okay? Everything's fine here. You know, like the little dog <laughs> with the flames going up around us. Um, yeah. I'd really like to know your comments below. Uh, what do you think of this car? Now is the time right now. Put in your bid. Uh, you heard my bid was 55,000. Deeb is still strong at 69. Um, uh, so Granite let's see green, what you got. Hey, green, it's a beautiful car. Don't, don't 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 get me wrong. <laughs> I am not knocking this car. I just think people are going to be like going this week, going holy crap. Uh, they're talking about nukes over there and their stock market and G fifty. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I love the car though. I love the car. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to be stuck in an apocalypse, this is the car to do it in. Now's the time yeah. to put your bid in. Let's see how good you are at this, and uh, we will find out right after this. Hey guys, I'm super excited to tell you about our sponsor, Guys Customs. That's Guys, G-Y-X, underscore customs. That's how you spell it, Guys Customs bracelets. These things are amazing. Check them out. They're handmade in America, custom bracelets made to match your watch or your car. These things are unbelievable. I have three or four of them myself. My partner, Michael Deeb, has a bunch of them. Uh, they're pretty addictive once you get one. Each one of them are bespoke. We're talking, uh, we're talking carbon fiber. We're talking titanium. We're talking stainless steel glass. There's none of this cheap Chinese garbage that you see a lot of bracelets being made out there. These ones are super high quality. They're made right here in America. When you go to Guys Customs on Instagram. It's about the only place that you can order one of these. Uh, when you DM the artist, you're actually reaching the real artist when you DM Guys Customs at Instagram. Uh, and she will make you a bracelet made to match that special watch that special car or that special person that has a special watch or a special car and they want something really, really cool, uh, in their life. These are the, they make the most amazing gifts. Um, I get compliments on mine all the time. Everywhere I go, people are like, wow, that's really cool. You can see in the pictures, uh, you know, these beads, the, the colored beads, are PTS, they're paint to sample. So if you have a specific color code for your car, she'll have beads made that are specifically painted to match your car or your watch. It's unbelievable. You gotta get one of these guys, customs, bracelets. Check them out, they support us, uh, and we really, really, really wanna support them. Guys, customs, bracelets. All right, let's get back to the bids. Let's find out how much that car sold for today. Hey guys, welcome back to Bid Nerd, your daily nerd out on the most interesting car of the day from all the automotive enthusiast auction sites. Look at this, we've got a third nerd. We haven't done that in a while. We're in the future and we have Lane Skelton from DWA has What's graced up? us with his presence. What's up, Lane? What's up, guys? I'm honored to be the first third nerd of your new format. <laughs> That's right true, on. you are. You, yeah. We gotta send you a sticker or you know what? Get a tattoo yeah. on your butt. I think that that would oh, really yeah. that the would hole or which yeah. part? <laughs> I, hey, you know, wherever you spend the most time. I don't know. I don't know. I spend a lot of time up my own ass, so uh, I'll spend some time there. Uh, guys, uh, okay, so we're in the future. Everyone just uh, came out of the commercial break, and we're going. What happened with this eighty-seven uh, nine eleven Targa? That's pretty darn dope. Um, Deeb, why don't you tell us quickly, remind us just really quickly about the car, and maybe we'll give Lane a chance to give his bid uh, before you tell us what we bid and what we actually what actually happened. Okay, so I selected this E7 no nonsense G50 equipped 911 Targa, specifically because it was this gorgeous color of granite green. JP you might remember we covered a turbo look in granite green a couple of years ago um, on P Car Market. Since we covered the car on the Professor Run, I met Nick, the guy who bought that M491 car. So, uh, and Nick, I just have to tell you, this is a homage to your car because I fell in love with the color we covered your car. So, out of Greenville, South Carolina, uh, JP, I thought the car, I won't give away the result, but I thought the car would sell for blah, 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 
give me my numbers. I think wait, probably wait, wait. Self- I, I, wait, wait. I'll give it. Yeah, dude. No, yeah, no, let, 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 let Lane go before no, you, you tell him what you bid. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. All right. no. okay. Well, I was just going to tell you what we did, not what it was. Nah, nah, all right. Give me your bid. Give me your bid. What's the mileage? Where, all right. 93,000 miles, all stock. Uh, I'm going to go granite green. JP would probably say, who cares about colors? Yeah. That's just gray to me. Um, <laughs> uh, and I'm going to say 93,000 by 87 so G50 target. It's a Targa, but yep. um, I'm going to say 62 grand. Ooh, not bad. Okay. So uh, JP bid 55,000. Uh, Lane is in 62. I came in at 69. Our car sold. For seventy-one thousand dollars on thirty-nine bids, I'll bring a trailer. Um, so that, that result is a little bit higher than all three of us. Just goes to show you, I think the gearbox is strong. I do think that the, the color is strong, even though it's not a black leather interior. Um, Lane, what do you think of that result? Are you surprised by that number on a car with so many miles? I don't know. It's on BAT, right? Yeah. Uh, it's on BAT. So I mean, it's on BAT. It's a it's a rareish color, you know. I guess paint the sample, right? Like you said. So, yeah, and and at under a hundred thousand. I mean, shit, it's probably about. I mean, oh, I'm not ultra surprised. It's like it is what it is, you know. Yeah. Lane's <laughs> comments. Lane's comments suggest that he watched the first half of the show, which is impossible. But that's really funny. Yeah, I just he, bought. He I just I just bought a piece of career, so I know the market at least. Ooh! Wow! Wow! wow. Very cool. Yeah. Well, so, what Did car are you think? running right now? Actually, let's save that for a different episode. Let's. I want to. I want to yeah, hear yeah. about the car that you recently got, and uh, and I want to see it. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, look. I. I. Th- this color is pretty cool. It doesn't seem like the type of color PTS color that would really command a big. Uh, extra premium, but apparently I'm wrong. Uh, or was this just uh, BAT inflation? What What do you guys think? I don't know, and I I'm surprised by the number in as so much as the photos aren't very good. You know, I mean, I get yeah. they tried for a good backdrop, but in these photos, if if you, like Lane or I that might geek out on colors, if we're scrolling through BAT, I wouldn't stop on this car immediately and say, "Ooh, that's granite green." It doesn't look granite green in the light these photos are taking. Mm-hmm. To me, that kind of a bummer. So in of itself, the number is just a bit surprising. Guy who owns it, that drives it, is going to turn 100,000 miles. Is that going to hurt the value of his car if he decides to get off it in a year or two? I, I would think a little bit. So um, th- th- this guy might, I'm not going to say regret it. It's a good car. It's a good car. And you're going to always love a Porsche of it. But from an investment standpoint, uh, this number may not look good in a year from now. Yeah, I'm looking at the pictures now, too. It's like the Targa bar looks sunbaked. Um, I mean, you know, it has like, it just has a little more wear than I would think. Like seals look like they need a little freshening and stuff. So, um, I mean, it looks like a nice car, but it's only a high number for a Targa. But I do think Targas are on the come up. So, I don't know. Yeah, this car is not seats look, fresh, seats right? look pretty tattered, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, there you go. It's like it. It seems like there's there are all kinds of asset classes out there that are whose bubbles are bursting, and this is just one that uh, you know. I I feel like I th- I feel like nine elevens are one of those things that if you've got an air cooled nine eleven and the world is about to end, at least you get to drive around the apocalypse in a really fun car. <laughs> uh, you know, and and I'm a little bearish these days. Obviously, my bid was pretty low, uh, but yeah. this thing is just. I mean, look. You can, you can try to diversify. You can try to get your liquidity into something else. Blah 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 blah. But I mean, what do you, what do you, you sell this? What do you what do you where do you put the money that's any more safe or less safe? I mean, everything's taking a crap. So yeah. you may as well, well look cool. Not nearly as fun either. And Jay, yeah. what did you say over the weekend? You're not bearish. Uh, that guy said you were early. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, All right. what do you think of the results of this uh, pretty cool Targa? Uh, do you think we're a bunch of idiots? Um, I mean, I know we are a bunch of idiots. That's pretty clear. Nobody's, No one's arguing that. But um, I don't know. Uh, let us know in the comments below. Did you get it right? Did you get it wrong? And we really do appreciate you guys watching the show. I know that there's like there were only like two or three of you, and now there's like five or six. And uh, some people are getting pretty good at this, Deep. Have you been watching the comments? 
that was to you, D. Are you in the Are you in the same room? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I said. I said. Uh huh. Which is a, which is a lie because I. Yeah. Now don't elaborate or anything like that. It's not a show or anything. I was really just asking a yes or no question. I just wanted you to. It's a it's a courtroom. Um, okay. So he doesn't the color man. They don't call me the best color man. I've been here for. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>